Hey folks, my name is Todd Mansfield. I'm a clinical herbalist here in Byron Bay, Australia, and today we're talking about Candida albicans infections. Now, in future videos, we're going to be talking about treatment options, but today it's just the basics. What is Candida? And what are the implications when it's overgrown in your gut? First off, it is very important to establish that Candida, and today we're talking mainly about Candida albicans, is commensal. So it's not always associated with this kind of pathological uh, fungal overgrowth. You know, up to 70% of us has Candida growing in our gut. And again, it's not associated with any disease or any damage. So the big question is, what changes Candida from this harmless variety into a more pathogenic variety? And the theme that emerges from the literature is a disruption to the ecosystem. So today we're talking about the gut. And the number one disruption to the gut ecosystem, the microbiome, is antibiotics. Other disruptors include gastrointestinal tract surgery, trauma, and also catheters, which are a major source of candida biofilms. What are the symptoms that are associated with a candida overgrowth? A big one would be IBS-like symptoms, so bloating and distension, loose stools and diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Another one is this concept, you know, candida albicans acting as an allergy trigger. So food intolerances, allergies to foods, and you know, these symptoms of leaky gut. Finally, we have these systemic symptoms, and a lot of them are due to this acetaldehyde buildup and this problem kind of detoxifying, such as toxic substance. And big ones there would be feeling like you're hungover, headaches, sore muscles, and also increased heart rate as well. So covering how candida can kind of switch from being this harmless unicellular form, uh, you know, more of a commensal, just living in our gut, not really causing any damage, to a more pathogenic form, we see this kind of swap or this switch, which candida can do, from this unicellular yeast form, as we mentioned, into this pseudo hyphal or this hyphal variety. And one of the main kind of pathogenic actions that this hyphal variety can have is it can actually attach to the cells that line our gut and it can actually penetrate into the body. You know, so it causes cell death on the cells that line our gut. That leads to things like intestinal permeability, you know, also known as leaky gut. So another pathogenic property of a candida albicans overgrowth is its ability to form biofilms. I like to look at biofilms almost as these little microbial cities where multiple microbes get together and they form this little protective barrier around it and it makes it a lot harder to treat. Another issue is the fact that inflammatory cytokines, or inflammation to keep it nice and simple, can shift candida from this commensal harmless variety into the hyphal variety. In the hyphal form, candida then attacks the gut wall, as we just discussed, and causes more inflammation, and this just turns into a, a vicious cycle. So lastly, and I think most importantly, just because I never hear it discussed, is candida's ability to form acetaldehyde. Now, what is acetaldehyde? It is an extremely toxic substance, and it's the intermediate between ethanol and a breakdown product. And that needs to be detoxified because it is extremely, extremely toxic. It's so toxic that the World Health Organization has listed it as a class one human carcinogen. A buildup of acetaldehyde is associated with neurological pathologies, so things like strokes and dementia. It's also associated with uh, DNA breakdown and cancer. And, you know, really this buildup of acetaldehyde, I think, is probably responsible for a lot of these kind of 
just general malaise feelings when you have a candida overgrowth. You know, things like, you know, just feeling hungover or headaches or sore muscles. It's because there's this buildup of this really toxic substance that the body's trying to kind of detoxify and it just can't keep up with it. So that's a little introduction to candida albicans overgrowth in the digestive tract. If you like the video, subscribe and hit the like button, leave a comment. You know, I always love hearing from you. And if you're struggling with digestive symptoms and you live in Australia, then reach out to us here at Byron Herbalist. There'll be a link in the description below. And I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.